I want to ask, uh, we have limited time left, but I want to make sure that I ask a question from the audience. And I can see a hand up there, right there, yes, right here. So please state your name and be relatively brief with your question. Thank you. I'm Lisa Lotte Otgard for the, from the Norwegian Institute for Defense Studies and Hudson Institute. I have a question for Sarah and Aya. Uh, Sarah, you mentioned the, uh, the new agreement between Denmark, Greenland, and Faroe Islands to have more, you know, that you should have more of a say on security issues and sit at the table. Can you, can you detail that a bit more, and could you also comment on whether that means that Greenland should have a different role in defense and security? And if so, in what way would that be? Thank you. Yeah. Who wants to start? Yeah, maybe I can start. Yeah, you can yeah. start. Um, first of all, just uh, a little bit about the, the agreement. It's, um, you know, Greenland decided that it's going to be the, the prime minister of Greenland. It's going to be the... Um, the trade minister and it's going to be the, the justice minister and the justice minister was here uh, a couple of uh, I think it was yesterday and she has a portfolio of five areas so it's uh, a broad um, area that she's covering but um, I, I think it's very much about what Sarah was saying knowledge is power when it comes to foreign affairs we need to know what what's going on around Greenland and in Greenland of course uh, and especially when it comes to defense and, and foreign affairs. As a member of the Danish parliament on behalf of Greenland, I'm not even a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. And this is something that I think is uh, important for us, you know, to have a say and, and, and to have access to this kind of knowledge. So this is something that the government is gaining even more access to with this new agreement. Thanks, Aya. Over yeah. to you, sir. Very briefly, also looking back in history, we can actually go all the way back to the negotiations first between Greenland and Denmark on the relationship to the US and afterwards Greenland, Denmark, US in 2003 and 4, which led to new legislation in the Danish parliament, which gave Greenland a say on foreign policy. Mm -hmm. So when I read the terms of reference of this new contact committee, mm -hmm. I was actually a little bit surprised that it also mentioned foreign policy besides security and defense issues, because on foreign policy, Greenland has already had a say for quite a number of years. But that's just a mm -hmm. side note, mm -hmm. because the actual uh, uh, most important point I would like to say here is that in practice, de facto, Greenland already has a say, merely by living in the Arctic, right? So decisions that are taken in Greenland on how and where and what kind of airports to build, whom to trade with, um, where to do what, they have implications already on defense and security issues. So de facto, Greenland is already deciding things. And that is what the whole structure within the realm has still not been fitted into. You know, the, so, the, so what we see in history is that Greenland does things in praxis, and then afterwards legislation or agreements are then done to sort of make sure that things are then happening within some rules that were agreed on. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it's kind of the other way around, and I think mm -hmm. it's sometimes a difficult thing to grasp mm -hmm. on the other side of the Atlantic in Denmark, that you know, just by being, just by living, just mm -hmm. by deciding things, doing what it says, what the self-government agreement is all about, mm -hmm. taking responsibility, Greenland mm -hmm. is also doing foreign and security and defense policy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sarah. Increased access, increased collaboration, strong leadership uh, and collaboration between Iceland and Greenland. These are some of the thoughts that I, I summarize here from this panel. We unfortunately are out of time, but I'm sure you can find uh, those people, those, uh, my incredible uh, uh, panel here in the hallway. So I suggest we give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you.